kama nguna takulaga Tukipata baga Tukiko sadaga Jatalala nayo Mirungi kwa kusaga Mbege kwa wachaga Na mbuzi wa kutaga Abaro nayo Asa tuende sangoro 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 Tan Kamaro nayo Yo what up this gonna be like now I'm done on Chibudu Ngote D Billion D whatever man All the way from Tanzania I tell you what You are watching me special It's crazy up in here Don't go nowhere Hal Thanks for tuning in to a brand new episode of the Miss Peace Show. It's the season finale and we're in Boya. I grew up here, by the way. All season I've brought to you the finest of Cameroon's talent and of course Africa as well. We spent some time with our role models and the upcoming talents. If you missed anything on this season, check us out on YouTube. I've got loads in store for you every single episode. And there you discover who made me laugh, who made me cry. Let's take a look. On our first stop today, we discover model dancer Brenda Derry. <laughs> it's a call out. All so, of us, let's engage yes. in the things we want so to see let, happen let, for us, our generation. Let us be the change we want to see. We need to hide ourselves as Africans. There's hype about Africa, but as Africans, we are sleeping. 2016, yeah! Woo 2016, 2016! You sound so excited, Ozzy! Yes, because 2015 was a great year, but uh, towards the end, I was ready for it to be done. Why? Just because I wanted something new. I'd worked so hard, I'd been so high, I'd been so low, I'd been everywhere in between. Oh. I said, get it over with! <laughs> and let's start afresh. So, yeah. so I guess you have a million new resolutions for the year. Absolutely. And uh, I also have a million failed resolutions already. <laughs> Ouch. I kid, I kid. Ouch. I kid. Are you a sugar daddy? I don't think so, no. Will you be a sugar daddy someday? Uh, well, uh, in, in the way you define it, I hope not, no. Have you ever been with a prostitute in your life. <laughs> I might, I might, I, I might. 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 I Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I will take care. Why do you men cheat? I want my brothers here to give me an honest answer. You have 30 seconds to give me a summarized answer. Why men cheat? I need a drink if I answer that one. You're such a feisty lady. Oh, <laughs> she was on my set. <laughs> Chérie de nous, je n'ai aucun mauvais souvenir Pourquoi nous sommes nous quittés Pourtant nous avions tout pour construire un bel avenir Pourquoi nous sommes nous laissés It's Diamond Welcome to the Miss P Show <laughs> I sound like I'm announcing you on stage. <laughs> do you get people jumping on you every time you come? How do you feel? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Really? Am I concentrated on Shalene talking about internet? Yes. That's real passion. What would be an internet miracle for you for Cameroon in, let's say, six months? That could happen in six months? Huh. In Cameroon? In Cameroon? <laughs> I'm not going to pretend I can <laughs> forecast miracles. Great connection might be still a miracle. Something no. in English in your Bangsaw accent. I need to laugh. Um, I say I miss me, look that dude. <laughs> I'm so 
sure you'll agree with me i've had some very interesting guests this season and i'm looking forward to season three because it's going to be a bang on my season finale it's customary of me to visit an orphanage and last season we visited god first orphanage in water that's along the road in limbe this time around i'm going down to saint valentine's center with a couple of friends mr leo calvino the comedian and cool kid join us for a laugh About having a great time today. I hope I'll be here more often again to see you guys. Perhaps pass again on my own with nobody else, just me, just to come and see you. Calvino Walang Ajiza and Bika Mo. Igan has sent to be born and born. Sang and sang and good tweet, 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 tweet. But since I came and met the man of God, he prayed for me, oh Lord of Jesus. When I post my pictures on Facebook, come and see likes. Praise the Lord, though. Oh. Hello, good morning, Jesus. I know it. You know, sing, sing for me. Good morning, Jesus. Good morning, Lord. Clap for her, clap. I know you. Hi guys, here's a little snippet to what I have to offer you in season 3. All the way from season 1 I offered you gossip and I didn't deliver. I'm absolutely sorry about that. But here I am bringing you all the gist. It's all in good faith. Positive criticism goes a long way to encourage development and innovation. And I'm here for you. Moving on to Nikki Heat's Makeup Studios. This was the first professional makeup studio and fashion design shop launched on March 5th in Bermenda. Nikki Heat is the fusion between bold and colorful modern African designs that creates a unique feel and look. With designs which are trendy, accessible, and ready to wear, this clothing and professional makeup brand wants to bridge the gap between haute couture and everyday retail clothing. Nikki Heat also specializes in complementary accessories. I love makeup and I'll be sure to stop by when I'm in Bermuda. So Drogba is under investigation for allegedly embezzling funds which were paid into his foundation for charitable causes. 
An investigation by the Daily Mail newspaper suggests that the charitable foundation of Drogba gave a very small percentage of donations to charitable uses. The British newspaper states that only $20,000 out of a whopping $2.4 million received from donors from Britain over the last five years were eventually used for good causes. Donors like Frank Lampard, John Terry, Roger Federer's Bono, and Abramovich paid in large sums of money too. Drogba says the accusations are false and defamatory. In his statement, he listed the accomplishments of his foundation, whose mission is to build a hospital and to contribute to the education of children in Ivory Coast. The mission responsible for overseeing charities in the UK has apparently started investigations following the newspaper's revelations. Hmm. Drogba, where's the money? Bring the money. Ex Malaya, we love you guys. Through the years, you've released consistently great music and you've made history by being the first Cameroonian-based artist to fill up the Olympia in Paris. Recently, pictures surfaced on the internet of Roger in a very comfy position with our very own Kelly White. And you got the internet buzzing about, mm, is this for real or is this a publicity stunt? That was a publicity stunt for the release of the new video, Mama Hiash. Great beats, great song, great lyrics as usual, but the video translates one down to very mediocre standards, which takes away the idolization, the dreams and the fantasies a music video is supposed to bring to its audience. In the world today, men get away with cheating much easier than women will do, and that keeps us women wondering what it is about. Is it about the other woman or is it about the sex like some say? Technology has given us an answer to that. The sex suit. Basically, the sex suit gives a man all the sensations of being with another woman, right? But the only difference is it's not a woman, it's a tool. This brings me back to the question, would you consider your man cheating if he's using that tool or not? And if that's the case, hmm, all y'all using toys, all your ladies using toys, are you cheating on your man? Question. I'm sure you're wondering why I'm all the way up here, but I had to catch up with the greatness of my guest. I have the honors of hosting the legendary Manu Dibango. My guest today needs no introduction. He is a legend. If I say anything more, then I'm sure I'll just be deceiving you. Manu Dibango is on the Miss P show. <laughs> Thanks for honoring my invite, Manu. I'm so, so honored and humbled. Well, what can I say? I'm happy to be and to share some moment with you and for your audience, okay? First Hello. things first. <laughs> How do you stay so young? At 82, you're looking very energetic and strong. What's your secret? Well, if I have a secret and then I tell you the secret, it's not anymore a secret. <laughs> <laughs> you got me on that one. You got me on that one. Your love for music started when you were a kid. You know, what was music like in the pre-colonial times as compared to now? Oh, I live in Cameroon up to uh, 15 years old, yeah. and then I go. I, I went to Europe. Mm -hmm. So before that, I used to go to the church. There was not really the so-called music. Yes. Uh, at that time, there was folklore music, and uh, the music they were playing in uh, some guest house. But I was too young to get to, to get into the guest house. So as uh, my parents are very, very, very in church, yeah. I used to go very long, long time. I was singing mm -hmm. at the choir, okay, and my my mother was conducting the choir. So I'm, I'm born between two hallelujah. <laughs> hallelujah from my father, <laughs> hallelujah, hallelujah from my mother. <laughs> so all together. I just in, 
been the middle. How do you stay so happy? What gives you the joy all the time? <laughs> oh, it looks like a fish up. <laughs> I don't know myself. You see, life has many, many sides. So, to me, as life is short, yeah. uh, the best is to try to find a sunny side of life. Of life. <laughs> That's it. So I'm, I'm chasing. So I'm behind, and uh, this is a long, uh, comment dit ça, a long, a long parcours. Yeah, a long journey. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, That's it. <laughs> Talking about your journey, when you were much younger, right? Did you ever see in you the legend that you've become today? Oh no, of course not. <laughs> Of course not. This is a kind of fairy tale. You don't know exactly. You, what you are sure is that you like, mm -hmm. you love music. Mm -hmm. And uh, all your passion is around music. Yeah. The other are with the soccer, the other as with basket, the yeah. other was painting, writing and so far. You feel really good when you listen to music and you dream through the music yeah. and uh, you want to become not uh, a legend but just musician yeah the... after that maybe good musician and uh, after that if you are lucky uh, somewhere you can yeah. <laughs> become a legend <laughs> <laughs> you definitely are a legend, you know, and especially because you're an African on international platforms. How do you stay at the top? Because at some point, sometimes it would feel like, you know, being an African might not necessarily give you the extent of exposure you have. But how do you do to stay number one in your game? Well, it's not so easy. Otherwise, everybody <laughs> knows. You know, it's a long, I mean, that's a really the fight of your life. Yeah. Uh, to maintain yourself at one level and not going down is a lot of work, mm -hmm. sincerely. But you don't, you don't have to show the people that you are working. Yes. It's most, it, must, uh, it, it must be like uh, having fun. It's yes. so easy to do that. When you're having fun, uh, it doesn't feel like <laughs> yeah, you're working Yeah, you don't have to really work. It's coming like that. But of course, it's not like that. No, of course. <laughs> every day you are training, every day, every day you are training and you are thinking about what you are going to do and mm -hmm. uh, where you are chasing. I mean, you are fighting against the creation, creativity. Yes, yes, you must yes. Be there. That's the place. So at this point in your career, after all these years, do you still spend a lot of time practicing before you go on set? Oh, yes, every day. That's something they you can't say, do without. It's like uh, people who play uh, football, they must training every day. Yeah. When you are an instrument player like us, you must practice every day because uh, um, there's no other way to, to, to be at a certain level yeah. if you don't practice every day. <laughs> it's more, it's most natural stuff for the musician to practice every, every day. day. So do you have like a routine that you do every time before you start to play? No, I just have a, I spend small time to singing about the show. Yeah. The, uh, the, the, the number the, I, I'm going to play, mm -hmm. uh, if I, I have, for example, one hour, yeah. how many songs I'm going to do yeah. to this hour, mm -hmm. uh, where I'm playing, the type of audience, Audience in uh, Cameroon is so different from audience in France. Yes. Uh, I was in New York uh, two, day, uh, two weeks ago playing at the Apollo. The audience <laughs> is totally different because there are African blacks. Yeah. Uh, there's African American blacks. They are not together. Not same, uh, yeah. And whites. So this is triangle and you must face singing about that. And changing the number, the song you are going to play uh, exactly. All these songs belong to you. Mm -hmm. But <coughs> there are some uh, songs people like here. Yeah. Uh, the other songs people are here. If I play Sol Makosa, of course here they like it. But in America it. they are crazy about oh, Sol wow. Makosa. They, 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 they make me uh, number one. Yes, you were. Yes, well, you were. From America, not from here. What are some of you know your most heartfelt comments and feedback that you've had all over the years? As life goes on, the audience changing. Yeah. 
you start with uh, teenagers because you yourself you are teenagers, and then you grow, yeah. you grow, and people around you they are changing. They get married, they have lots of kids. Uh, mm -hmm. The situation is not the same from decade to decade. But you, you are alone. You are a musician. You must live, continue to live, and people are changing around you, and the magic. The juju of stuff <laughs> <laughs> is that uh, people, uh, young people, they still, maybe they don't know your music, mm -hmm. but at least they know the name. They know the name. Because the father was talking, the grandfather was talking about Manu and so forth. Yeah. So you are part of their life if even they don't know exactly How you what you are doing. Exactly. And you're one of those. That's why we've named you a legend. Yeah. In, uh, when you get there, to them you are a legend. And, and sometimes, once in a while, mm -hmm. they discover a song. I was playing uh, this morning at the church. There's one popular song here. It's not the dance, so, so it's not for dancing, yeah. it's spiritual. Okay. And everybody in the church was singing was this, singing even... The little ones. Yeah, that's very, very I mean, I, I had a, come on, this a thrill. Listen to those people, those young people, five, six years old, singing Jesus Christ. Uh, that was uh, the... The best part of this uh, of doing music is uh, when at least you have one song everybody remembers. That's the reason. If I'm lucky, is because that. You know, through the years, you you've stayed relevant and you've made some money as well. Yes. Um, this show focuses on our generation. We're trying to encourage our talents, right? If you had to give out one advice to people of this generation on how to grow, what would you say to them? Well, we're in the democratic country, right? We so are. what I can say is that uh, you must uh, really have a passion mm -hmm. through this business, show business. The show business, show one part, business the other yeah, part. Right. But you must work hard really, because it's a, a, it's a long combat, mm -hmm. a perpetual combat, and uh, modesty, you must be modest, be compared, because, because you're not, you are not behind, you are not before the music, yes. you are behind, behind the, the music. music, so you must know that. Before you, there was a lot of good musicians, I mean, Louis Armstrong, Duke Ellington, uh, Mozart, mm -hmm. Bach, there was very heavy people. You must know that. You are not the first one. Yeah. Even if you are number one, you can be number one only for three weeks. <laughs> All the people are, they are coming behind you. So you must have uh, humility, as we say in France, mm -hmm. uh, compared to the music. The music is so big in your life. Uh, you must respect what you are doing and work hard. Work hard. That's why I can't say. This is a bit sensitive. I'm not sure how you take it, but it's in a positive light. You know, you're going towards, you know, the uh, the later part of your years, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that by your strength, you're going to live really long. Do you sometimes sit and think about when you're not going to be in this world anymore? You know, if the uh, is the end, you are the one to not know that mm -hmm. that's the end. That's the People end. around you, they know that that's the end. <laughs> <laughs> so you are going to some place else. <laughs> do you have what they call a bucket list? You know, the list of things you want to do before you leave the, the, no, the world. No. I take it like it is, you uh, You don't know where you're coming in this earth. You don't know when you are leaving. Yeah. But in between, try to give a sense of your life. That's it. Once it's over, it's over. I'm so, so honored to have you here today. You cannot imagine how, how, how precious this interview is to me. And most especially because you're an amazing person. You're full of life, full of joy. And you give me hope. Well, <laughs> thank you for that. If I can give hope, I'm very happy. Don't do what I'm looking at. I believe anything can happen. <laughs> no, make it positive. See? <laughs>
Before we let you go, we have a little segment called the mirror question, which is one, one minute. Mm -hmm. What we'll do is you stand in front of a mirror mm -hmm. and ask yourself a question that people don't ask you, uh -huh. and then you answer it. Outside of the music, what um, you're doing in your life? I do nothing outside of the, the music. I'm inside the music. That's my life. Hi, my name is Uche Jumbo and you are watching the Miss P Show. Don't touch that. to leave you and go on holiday but before I do I have to remind you my Facebook page has a lot of stuff happening on there so check us out on Facebook at www.facebook.com forward slash Miss P show and on Twitter at the Miss P show if you're on Instagram I am at Miss P happy hmm season three you don't want to miss that because I've got a lot happening on right now until next time I'm Miss P and I'll see you later bye <laughs>